Don't make pasta before seeing this recipe. Now I just make it like this. I'm going to start our recipe by adding 500 grams of pasta to a pan of hot water and letting it cook until al dente. While our pasta is cooking, I'm going to put 300 grams of chopped bacon in another pan and let it fry. Let's make a delicious sauce for our pasta. Now I'm going to add a chopped onion here along with the bacon that is frying and I'm also going to add 3 chopped garlic cloves. Now I'm going to saute all these ingredients together. After sauteing everything, we will reserve it next door. Now in a blender, I will add 500 grams of boiled potatoes. I will also add 200 milliliters of whole milk. Now I'm going to add 200 grams of cream, 3 tablespoons of cream cheese. Now I will also add black pepper to taste, a teaspoon of salt, and kimichiri to taste. Remembering that all seasonings are to taste, now let's put the lid on the blender and mix everything. We've already mixed everything very well, so now we're going to add this mixture to the pan with the bank fried with onion and garlic. See how delicious our recipe is turning out? This sauce is perfect. Now over low heat, let this mixture boil. While we wait for our sauce to start boiling, leave it here below. I love pasta. This way, I will know that you like pasta and I can bring more ways to prepare pasta here on our page. I have lots of pasta recipes that I'm sure you'll love and that will surprise your family and friends. Now just add our cooked pasta here to the pan with our sauce that has already started to boil and then we will mix very well until our sauce combines with the pasta. Finally, we will add grated mozzarella cheese on top of all our pasta. The amount of mozzarella is to taste. Is that okay? Look how delicious this pasta is turning out. It's the perfect recipe to prepare at a family gathering on a weekend. Everyone will definitely love it and want to make the dish again. I'll finish with a little oregano, which cannot be missing from our recipe. It's to taste. I will also add a little parsley, which is also to taste. And now I'm going to add some of the bacon that I fried at the beginning of the recipe just to make our pasta even more beautiful and presentable, but this is optional. I left our pan covered with the heat off just to melt the cheese and see the result of our recipe. Now I'm going to serve it and try it. The best time has come. It's time to try our pasta with this wonderful potato sauce. How delicious. This pasta is very tasty. It's the perfect combination of ingredients. Do it at your home and everyone will be delighted.